Hello my lovelies. Um, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a homemade, completely natural toner that is very good for your skin and will not dry it out. Um, because this is all natural products, um, you want to use up the um, toner quicker than you would a drugstore toner because other toners have preservatives in them. And this is alcohol free. I'm really against using anything with alcohol in it because it will actually dry out your skin excessively and actually increase oil production. Although I will mention things where you might want to use alcohol in it to preserve it longer and it could have beneficial aspects for your skin. So first you want to use, get a travel size container like this. You can get this at the drugstore. It's about the size of my hand. The reason why it's small is again because you want to use up this product probably within a month and you're going to want to get yourself some tea tree oil. You can get this from any health store or the health department of a grocery store or even the drug store. And then get yourself some lavender oil and these are all essential oils so none of the fake like aromatherapy stuff, this is the pure stuff from the actual plant. So lavender oil, and if you get you get your hands on it, which might be a little hard, um, it would be very beneficial to get rosehip oil. Next, a natural aloe vera. I'm using fruit of the earth. This unfortunately probably has other stuff in it, but again, you could always use your actual aloe plant. Yeah, the green stuff's not going to cut it. That has coloring in it. Natural aloe vera is clear. So just try to get as natural of an aloe vera you can get. And you'll want a package of green tea. The higher the quality, the better. And you'll want to get some rice. Um, rice of any sort, it's up to you. I'm just using a mixture of jasmine and bran rice because that's just what I eat every day. And I'm going to make rice after this. Any rice is good. So again, if you don't have all of these uh, products, don't sweat it. Um, you don't have to use all of them. So first what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to prepare your green tea. So you're going to just get your kettle. This is my kettle. Just boil some water. Alright, so while I'm waiting, we can prepare the rice as well. I'm using a rice cooker, so I'm just going to pour it directly into the uh, rice cooking pot. And I'm going to just pour some water in the pot, some warm water, swish it around, and as you do that, the uh, water turns very milky. Okay, so it's a little noisy, but that's my kettle boiling right beside the camera. Um, so as you see, the water is really milky, and that milky water is what we're going to use in our toner. So you're going to collect that water in a separate container. So I used that um, rice water and I poured it in my measuring cup here that the rice was originally in. And as you see it's very milky. So my water is almost done boiling as you can probably hear. So we're going to take our green tea packet and then just put it in a glass. So, I'm going to wait for the water to boil. There, it's done. So take your kettle and pour it in the glass. You honestly don't want to pour yourself like a huge glass. You just want a little bit of water in the green tea. And the green tea is going to soak in there. Or steep in there. Before you pour any of this in here, which is plastic, unless you're using glass, then you don't have to worry. But if it's plastic, don't pour any hot liquids in this because then the chemicals might, from the plastic, might contaminate your toner and then you're just putting it all over your face, which is terrible. So wait till all these ingredients um, cool down before you're going to mix it all together. So I'm going to wait till it cools and I'll be back later. Okay, we are back. Um, so my green tea is cooled down. 
And another thing I forgot to mention was instead of rice water, when I was mentioning earlier, if you want to use alcohol products, you can actually use sake because sake, the alcohol in it will actually preserve the toner so it'll last longer. Um, sake is rice wine, so it's going to have the same benefits as this rice water here. Just take your aloe and just pump some of that aloe in the uh, green tea there. So I'm just going to use three pumps, nothing crazy. Yeah, that's good. It's got it's moisturizing for your uh, skin. You don't need to use aloe if you don't have it. I just like to use it for the hell of it. So I'm going to mix that around. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my little container and I'm going to pour some of this rice water in the container, probably a little less than half. Like that, it's good. Use my measuring cup again for pouring just because it has that nice spout. And pour, fill the rest of it up with green tea. And so you've got this really milky substance. Now you're going to take your tea tree oil and I'm going to go nuts with this so I'm probably going to put in like 15 drops or so. Tea tree oil is extremely good for acne. It's a completely natural antiseptic so it kills bacteria. Plus when you use this as a toner, it really has a minty feeling when you put it on your skin, like that really fresh, clean feeling. Then I'm going to use um, lavender oil. Mm, lavender is like one of my favorite smells in the world. Maybe I'll put a little bit more. So 10 drops of lavender, let's say. And lavender is also a natural antiseptic and it's very good for um, scars. And it smells really awesome. It's got its aromatherapy effects are for relaxation. And lastly, I'm going to grab my rosehip oil. And I'm probably going to put just five drops of this. Rosehip oil is extremely good for wrinkles, aging skin and all that. And the green tea is good for just rejuvenation. It's got lots of antioxidants in there. All right, so right now I can see all the oil on the top there, all the green tea sediment in the bottom. So we're just going to mix that up. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put it in your fridge. So it acts as a toner because toners are supposed to close off your pores after you wash your face and so every time you use it you're going to take it out of the fridge and put it back in. Not only will that let it last longer but the cold temperature of the liquid is going to close off your pores. So that's one of the, the disadvantages of using this is that you do have to run to the fridge all the time. Which for me isn't that inconvenient because my fridge is really close to my, I have a, like a tiny fridge for just drinks and stuff in the living room which is right near the washroom for me. It's not in my kitchen. Um, so it's not annoying for me but I mean if your fridge is all the way downstairs and you're upstairs doing your makeup or whatever then it might not be very convenient for you. Another downfall is you can't travel obviously because if you're traveling you can't keep it in the fridge either. But this is just a, a great natural toner, 100% natural, very good for your skin and it the tea tree oil really gives you that fresh minty feeling. I use it only once a day. I use it at night before I go to bed and in the morning I don't use toner. So just something I kind of made up because I'm really into um, herbology I guess or I like playing around with essential oils. I don't know what that's called. That's the uh, toner and I hope you enjoy this and I hope you try it at home even if it's just once and if you hate it then let me know. If you like it, then uh, let me know as well. So thanks for watching. See you next time.